You're right, people. Alex Mathers here. Thank you for tuning in to another video with me here today. Now, apologies in advance for me being a little bit slow. I'm a little bit woozy. I'm about halfway through an 80-hour water fast for health reasons, and I'll go into the benefits of intermittent fasting in other videos, but just wanted to say that in advance. But I've got a topic that I want to talk about, and I'm keen to share this one with you today as I acknowledge my commitment of daily videos. And today's topic is the importance of writing a strengths list. Now, before you throw the idea out as the kind of crap that you tend to hear at business seminars, this has been one of the most important lists that I write and refer to regularly. So I talk a lot about the benefits of writing lists as a means to motivate yourself, gain new perspectives, get more creative, churn out new interesting ideas and innovative ideas. And the strengths list has been extremely powerful for me. It doesn't sound very exciting on, on the front end, but let me go into a bit more detail. Hear me out. So why do we need a strengths list? Well, a lot of us very often lose momentum. We get that sense of not achieving and we feel low in confidence sometimes and we feel like we are not getting anywhere in life. We lose motivation. All of those negative things that come with losing an awareness of what is possible with you, what your potential is in life. And it's very important to con continually remind yourself of what value you possess, especially in terms of the experiences, skills and accolades that you've picked up. So the strengths list is about listing out, brainstorming all of your personal experiences, skills, innate talents, accolades, awards, uh, wins you've had in life, positive experiences, even negative experiences that will guide you in many ways that I'm about to discuss and improve your life in many ways as well. One of the ways that a strengths list is going to be super powerful for you is simply to remind yourself of why you are deserving of self-confidence, why your self-esteem should be pushed up from this awareness of what you have done. And you'll be surprised at how many things you might have picked up over your life and career that you have forgotten about various wins, various positive results that you can use to give you a nice boost in confidence. And you'll be surprised just through the process of writing out your strengths will give you a nice lift, will give you a, a positive, confident lift. Just try it. As I said, you might include negative experiences on the list. So things like being bullied at school or going through horrendous experiences at work. I know that it doesn't sound very flattering, very interesting, but Negative experiences can be a tremendous source of value for you in terms of the stories you can tell and the lessons that you have picked up through life that other people haven't experienced as you have that you can then use to inspire and motivate other people. So for example, with me, picked up a lot of pain at school for being shy and being quiet and have turned around those negative experiences of, of social fear and shyness to now really create a large component of my coaching with other men and I like to I enjoy helping other men and other people overcome their self-consciousness their anxiety and all that kind of stuff and that has been rooted directly to those negative experiences in life and I think it was Robert Bly who said this where a man's wound is that is where his genius will be so negative experiences can be a really strong powerful beacon that guides you to where your genius could be because the stuff that we suffered through is often very, very powerful at motivating us, pushing us, incentivizing us to get better at a certain thing. So all my life I have become, whether consciously or not, an expert at overcoming anxieties, dealing with the fear of interacting with other people, all that kind of stuff has been guided from my negative experiences. So include negative experiences as well in your strengths list and use that knowledge to guide where you might spend your time more, guide where your value might be pulled out of, how you can help other people. And of course, building businesses and doing well in life and making an impact has a lot to do with how you are able to persuade and influence other people. So that could be a great source of that kind of information. This list might also uncover sources of value for you that you might have forgotten about. So for example, you might have picked up an instrument for a year or a few months and developed to a certain degree of expertise in that thing, but then gave it up this could also apply to a different kind of a project or some something that you started that you didn't finish that um, 
you might have done pretty well in, but you don't consider it a win because you never became proficient at that thing or you never finished that project. But there might be a lot of value still wrapped into that project that you started that you didn't finish. So that can be another great thing to uncover through this list. I also encourage you guys to include things that you are drawn to, to the books that you tend to read over and over again, to the films that you go back to a lot, to the places that you enjoy going to, to the environments that make you come alive more than other ones do, to the experiences that you have been particularly affected by, to the moments in films and stories and books that you um, shed a tear over, etc., etc. These things can be really, really useful, powerful pointers towards areas of, again, value in your life that you can monopolize on and use as an element or a component of your career or how you brand yourself in business or how you describe yourself in your stories to potential clients and your market and your content online, whatever else. All of these things define a clearer picture. They give you those outer boundaries that form the shape of who you are. So you become much more self-aware when you um, uncover those strengths, those moments of aliveness from your past, whatever it is, those books that you tend to read, all of these things give you little indications, little signs that point to who you are and point to where it might be worth continuing that path of discovery. So for example, with me, I took a turn from uh, coaching predominantly creative professionals, which I still enjoy doing, but I realized through my fascination in men's issues and masculinity and learning more about myself as a man in a man's context, I discovered that actually my coaching was much better suited to helping other men specifically. And that's not to say that you ladies can't get involved and can't enjoy my stuff, but just reminding myself of my, my own personal fascination in all things masculinity and, and men's related has guided me to targeting and focusing on helping and um, yeah, caring for other men's men's needs through the coaching that I do. So that was an interesting thing that was uncovered for me. So what else can this list provide for you? As I said, it can make you clearer on your personal brand. So a lot of us stumble over where our areas of expertise should be, where we should niche down and find and refine that speciality that we can get really good at, that area of mastery that's worth exploring and getting better at than anyone else in the world at. And of course, all these strengths, accolades, talents, experiences that you've had will give you in black and white pointers to exactly where you are better suited to in life. So really use that strengths list to get a better sense of what your brand could look like, what it is about you that is that is special, that is interesting, that other people don't possess, that you can emphasize through the stories that you tell and how you define your business and how you define your career and how you, how you define where you spend your time. Of course, the list is also going to point you towards areas to work on in terms of content that you can create, so articles you could write. So if you're into uh, marketing yourself online through content marketing, all of these strengths, all of these ideas, this clearer understanding of yourself is going to help you know what kinds of things to work on, what kinds of stories to tell, what kinds of videos to make, what kinds of articles, podcasts, areas to explore that you could become known for. And of course, it'll also indicate um, books that you can write and other products that you can work on. So all of this stuff is going to show you where your value is for people. And often it just requires a reminder. A lot of us go through life forgetting how powerful we can be and how much we have the potential to change other people's lives through products, through books, through videos, through other content that can attract people to you, that they would be willing to listen to, to latch on to, to pay you money for, to prop up your career in. So that is all powerful stuff that you can also gain from this strengths list. So hopefully all of those ideas gave you some food for thought and gave you some momentum into actually wanting to write your own strengths list. I encourage you to do that today as a call to action. Just get out a piece of paper. It's a nice way to spend an afternoon if you've got a bit of time. Write down all of those positive things from your back history, all of those strengths about yourself that you currently possess that you might have forgotten about. But really just go all in here and include everything you can think about in terms of strengths, talents, rewards, awards, things you've done that you've forgotten about that was a success, other wins in life, uh, relationships that you've got that have that give you value and, can, and, and help your connectedness with the world, mentors that you've got. All these things are worth including just to kind of switch on that light bulb again and give you a bit of added confidence, added self-esteem, added self-awareness that's going to guide 
where you dedicate most of your time, what areas it's worth exploring further and developing more mastery in and getting better at and developing a craft in so that the world benefits from you. The more you're aware of your strengths, the more self-aware you are, the more the world is gonna benefit from you. So that's my task for you today. Write down your strengths list, include everything that's good about what you've got in your possession. And I hope it gives you a nice hit of confidence. If this made sense to you, do subscribe to this, do hit the like button, and I will see you in tomorrow's video.